Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Rohan Khandelwal, your marrow surgery faculty, and I have the honor of introducing Dr. Rupesh to all of you, who has secured an amazing rank of three in the recently concluded NEET PG 2023 exam. Now, Dr. Rupesh's story is very interesting. He got a rank of 2800 in the last NEET PG exam, which is not a bad rank at all. But he was hellbent in taking up radiology at a good institute. And in this one year journey, when he took a drop after getting a 2800 rank, he utilized Marrow, Hubank, and GTs which helped him to get this rank and to achieve his dream of getting radiology in the PG branch. So congratulations, Dr. Rupesh. Uh, kaisa lag hai? How's uh, it feeling in the family? Uh, sir, it feels really great. Uh, rank 3 was completely unexpected. So aagya to, it's really great, sir. Bohut achcha hai. Aap sab khush hai ghar pe bhi. Perfect. Because it was a long journey, sir. Finally, jab... Uh, you get such a rank, so it really like means a lot. So I know absolutely. I mean, it's it's so much of hard work and dedication, and asan nahi hota ki 2800 rank ke baad drop lena. I think so requires a lot of courage, bahut himmat chahiye hoti hai, and to keep yourself dedicated and motivated during that one year is very important. So hats off uh, uh, to you. Uh, so, Rupesh, uh, please tell us about yourself. Where did you do your undergraduation from? And uh, when did you start using Marrow? Uh, sir, I am from Haryana, actually. And I've done my MBBS from Ames, Bhavneshwar. I was in 2016 batch. And uh, I started using Marrow from my like post-intern period because that was the time when I was like, really serious about my new PhD preparation. So the QBank was really great. So I thought, let's give it a shot. And... Uh, start with the QBank and I was regular with GTs as well after that. Like since last one year, I'm using Marrow properly. So uh, after the last NEET PG exam, 2800 rank, you could have got radiology, DNB, but you were very focused on MD karni hai radiology ke and a yeah. chain institute. Ke karni hai. Yes, sir. sir, that was something like I really knew what I'm I capable of doing. Like I knew that I can score good. Last time, the, the INE set uh, and the NEET were close by. So I messed up really badly in my INE set exam. So that had a, like some sort of baggage on me. So I attempted my NEET ka paper very badly. So I messed up both of my papers. So I knew I can do better in my next paper. So I thought, let's give it a shot and prepare for the NEET PG again. Perfect. It was so tough so... everyone was like, why are you preparing for uh, uh, NEET PJ again? You have got decent rank, you can get it from anywhere else. But I knew that I can do better. So I took a leap of faith and I uh, sat for it again. It was hard, but I, I did. I tried it. No, I mean, I agree. Koi bhi hota tumse kehta ki, why didn't you just, uh, why don't you just join? But uh, you've mentioned something very important. And I think so. It's uh, very important for everyone to realize their potential. And uh, you knew within yourself that you're capable of this kind of a rank. You're capable of rank three, which is why you took that leap of faith. So, apne yes. andar vishwas hona bhi bahut hai. Yes, sir, definitely, sir. Uh, okay. It could have gone either ways. Like, I could have messed up this exam also. But it's important to know your worth also. Like, if you have worked hard enough in your, like, in, like, third, fourth year or internship, you know that you, you can do better. So knowing your potential is really important. Like even in the need piece, it was not about the knowledge that you have. It was more about the confidence that you carry. So many of the questions from were from like they weren't for notes and all. Like in every subject, there were two or three bouncers and all. So that needed confidence to roll out stuff. So maybe that made me like get rank three. So that was sure. important, sir. Yeah. So one year back when you started using Marrow QBank, um, how did you go about using the QBank? You used to uh, have a target in mind ki I want to do these many modules uh, every day. Ya fir you used to go subject wise. Uh, kaise karte the? Sir, firstly I started with giving GTs and all. So GTs mein I got to know that uh, I'm getting this much rank. I'm like I'm messing up in some subjects. So I targeted that subject only. I went through my notes. And then I started doing the QBank. So once I was thorough with my QBank, I knew I had the confidence that 
okay it's, this subject is done so like i went subject wise and preferably the initially i did the subjects in which i was weak comparatively weak so weaker to stronger i went sir like stronger subjects you can leave it like i did not do uh, psm ke module because i knew i can do a psm from my notes also but for other subjects pure bank is a must sir i will say pure bank you should do so i think so it's very important uh, once you had already prepared uh, well for the neat pg exam to tumne pehle ek gt liya and you did your analysis tumne gt ke analysis ko dekha and jo weak subjects the un pe zyada dhyan diya so this is your gt analysis and i think so this is very important for students to understand that uh, you know uh, 100% to kisi bhi subject mein nahi aa sakta but jo weak subjects hain jisme 60 70% aa raha hai usme zyada there is more scope of improvement so you should focus more on those subjects rather than focusing more on those subjects where you are already getting 85 or 90% mm-hmm. and that's what uh, you did um, Yes, so Rupesh, what were your weak subjects? जो ये GT analysis किया, what were your weak subjects after that? Uh, sir, you'll be surprised to know. Uh, forensic medicine was my weakest subject. So if you scroll okay. down, you'll get to know. Forensic medicine was my weakest because, like, I could not understand those IPCs because that was a lot of rectifying stuff, right? So mm-hmm. I did not like like rectifying stuff, rectifying MCQs and all. So FMT was my weakest. It has been throughout my preparation also. so <laughs> that day before neat pg i read only fmt so i don't mess up in ipc that less at least so, yeah so at least this q bank and the gts help you analyze your weak subjects so you knew what you have to do one week before or a few days before the exam jo uh, volatile cheeze thi you could gather them and you could implement it properly perfect so q bank mein uh, you did 508 modules out of uh, the total 829 modules koi iska pattern tha aur uh, gt ke baad hi you used to analyze ki kaun se subject ke q bank q uh, bank karna hai mujhe uh, nahi sir pattern to it used to be like ha gt wala pattern i used to follow i used to attempt the gt and whichever subject i was weak in i used to do subject ka q bank so uh, like that i did like i did not do it completely like i did 5 or 8 still it was good enough but so by giving gt you know what subjects what topics you need to focus more on so likewise i used to go back to q bank and solve those um, mcqs and all so that was my approach so you will see a lot of days where i was solve around like 15 to 20 uh, this uh, q banks because i was more focused on that subject on that day so once i was confident i used to like just right in my notes and maybe just any extra information i used to recollect and all so that was my approach sir. i was so, i wasn't very uh, disciplined in solving cube bank i was disciplined in uh, finishing a subject okay so supposing for example you were weak in fmt tumhare gt ne bola that you are weak in fmt so fmt ka did you do the q bank topic wise or were you creating custom modules and just doing random fmt questions sir i did q bank completely so uh, forensic was maybe uh, the lucky ones jinka maine q bank i have finished so uh, otherwise i used to make custom modules and uh, ipc sir i hated learning ipc so i knew even if i'm getting Uh, i'm doing wrong questions on ipc so i i'll manage them in the last one to two days so i, I wasn't very like scared of like ipc wala questions because i knew i'll manage them afterwards also so normal questions ke liye i did my q bank i used to make custom modules also and uh, i used to solve them so that was really helpful so rupesh give some tips to students who are still preparing uh, because a lot of students message us and they say ki custom modules mein bahut sare options hai तो हम क्या ऑप्शंस को फिल्टर करें क्या को चूज करें तो व्हाट टिप्स वुड यू लाइक टू शेयर विद स्टूडेंट्स जिससे दे कैन मेक मोर इंपैक्टफुल कस्टम मॉड्यूल्स सर फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल कस्टम मॉड्यूल्स को शुड बी डन आइडियली इन द फर्स्ट लाइक व्हेन यू वेक अप यू शुड स्टार्ट विद अ कस्टम मॉड्यूल लाइक यू कैन मेक अ 20 क्वेश्चंस का कस्टम मॉड्यूल एंड मे बी initial part of a preparation when you are getting say around 130 140 questions wrong right so at that time you should focus more on building your concepts and building your notes so that is the time so us time pe uh, you can select the wrong gts 
and maybe those things you can do or alternatively suppose uh, now initiate is coming so you should focus more on the pyq so you can go to the last year papers and you can select the initiate ke papers so that is really helpful sir so if you start your day with like th- those 20 questions custom module so that recalls that like consolidates your 19 subjects also and uh, it's a good start to day also like sometimes you feel like you're really bored and you don't do stuff so you keep on lying in bed and like scrolling instagram and stuff so it's better to do a custom module and so you get back to reality that okay i'm getting these many wrong so i need to study more yes sir. perfect so rupesh how did you deal with the bookmarked mcqs uh, were you bookmarking them and if yes, yes usko kaise revise kiya how did you reduce the number uh, as you were preparing sir i had lots of bookmarked mcqs sir it must be in like thousands so no. i used to uh, regularly check the bookmarked mcqs but i used to write them also in my notes i used to make a separate notes of my bookmarked mcq whatever content i was lacking in so i used to make a separate notebook kind of thing may call it a 20th notebook but i was writing them elsewhere also so i was uh, on and off i used to like in the custom modules also you can type your bookmark and mcqs so you can solve it from there also but i used to write because writing helps uh, like it helped me a lot because memory writing memory people say so it, it used to be really good like the writing so this... when you write something so it's really good absolutely so you are the third person whom i'm interviewing today who has said that they used to actively revise their bookmark mcqs and that is yes. very important sometimes yes. students just bookmark them and forget them that should not happen you need yes. to take out time to revise them so like dr rupesh was doing he was writing them down somewhere or like another user said what he was doing was that every month he was taking out two days to revise those bookmarked mcqs so as to reduce the uh, number of bookmarks so uh, rupesh jo gts dete the usse aapki exam ki strategy pe kya farak pada i mean how did it help you in the exam did you formulate a strategy that uh, i have to attempt these many questions i have to be aggressive or i have to be conservative uh, can you explain about that please uh, sir i frankly speaking i don't see a point in not being aggressive in epg exam at least because i don't think out of 200 questions you will be knowing at least 195 at least you should have some idea if you have gone through your notes and stuff you will have some idea you need to just rule out stuff so uh, in my gts as you can see uh, i used to give gts uh, and just analyze the wrong stuff only because uh, time management is one thing that i used to be really scared for like in any set exam but for neat pg i was really confident that i can finish it in 3 and 1/2 hours so time management was not a problem but i used to do a lot of blunders in my uh, gts and all so you can see comparatively lower scores in my gts but that because i used to finish them really fast like i had i'll finish them in like 2 and 1/2 hours and all so i used to just submit them so that was a really bad habit that i had so i did not give my gts like in the last 15 30 days 15 days i did not give any gt because i knew i need to be really consistent and not commit any blunders because it is not the extra stuff that you know that determines your rank it is the the normal the easy stuff that determines your rank you should not do them wrong so that was that, that was the whole point so in the entire neat pick exam i was really focused that i should not make any blunders so i played it really safe so maybe So GTS were really good. Did you, how many I questions did you? One ninety nine, sir. One ninety nine. And what was your yes. score, sir? I got seven twenty one marks. Seven twenty one. So, uh, Rupesh, tell me one more thing. Uh, you told me that everything you used to start with a GT, and then you used to analyze it, and then proceed to the Q bank and solve relevant modules. Uh, yes. For certain subjects like FMT, you said ja- where you did all the modules because it was a weak subject. But yes. you would be having strong subjects as well, uh, as well, where only select portions must have been weak. So, how did you analyze those select portions? Uh, did you utilize uh, features like schema in the app to an- uh, to you know analyze and revise those topics? Yes, sir. Definitely, sir. Uh, suppose I was weak in like CNS medicine, 
so i realized it so i used the schema so it gives a uh, lots of important topics as well right so you get to know okay this is these are topics i'm getting them wrong so i use the schema as well sir rather right, you can so like, but i use it yeah like so you can see here so you utilize the schema for these topics jo aapko weak lagte the you utilize yes. the schema for them yes sir just for anatomy as you can see sir i i had sort most of them but because histology and all those stuff they are quite difficult like they are factual as well but uh, you need to know them properly especially for like inset as well and for neat page also they are giving a lots of question from histology so those things i was really thorough about so in the cubank also i saw i saw so the notes also so that was quite good sir so like targeted approach is what is needed you can't mug up everything targeted approach is what i feel is important and uh, rupesh did you utilize the pearls as well uh, yes sir definitely sir so once i was done with one subject so i used to regularly uh, visit the pearls wala section and used to bookmark the pearls perfect uh, rupesh i love your attitude and sabse zyada what i like is that taking a drop after 2800 rank is not easy so uh, how did you motivate yourself matlab dekho ek saal ki journey choti nahi hoti kafi lambi hoti hai aur uch neech hoti hai you have a days when you're feeling low so how did you motivate yourself during this one year uh, sir i personally feel the lows that you face are really important for your success as well sir so uh, i was getting really good ranks before my ini set so i thought that is baat to fod dunga then uh, when ini set came i like i could not handle like some of the questions were completely out of box for me so i could not handle so sometimes the lows are important sir uh, i would say if you are getting low scores in gt maybe uh, just step back take your notes seriously and maybe revise again rather than like going into depth of a particular subject revising is very much important sir so no. lows are important sir gt is my never had a like a flat like it was increasing every time but i used to get like 170 170 correct 172 174 correct okay. uh, so thank you rupesh i think so you've uh, shared some excellent tips on how to use the maro q bank how to analyze your gts how to utilize schema uh, we wish you all the very best for your future and uh, i'm sure you're going to make a great radiologist so heartiest congratulations thank you so much it's a pleasure talking to you